परमेश्वर जी वहाँ को जीवन में वड़ा Now look over to your right. Look over to your right. दाईने पटी फरगनुस. You see that person on your right? दाईने पटी पोसा. That person is a sinner. वहाँ से अदर मी होने चाहिए. They deserve to go to hell. वहाँ से दरगाह में जाने होने चाहिए. They don't deserve to go to heaven. But God loves them. Now I have to admit that when I told you to introduce yourself to the saint, you didn't say much at all. But when I turned and told you to introduce yourself to the sinner, you had way more fun. And you started laughing. Okay, you can sit down. You can sit down. Um, Hanuk may have told you, but I am actually an engineer. Pastor Hanuk, I am not a pastor. I don't speak for a living. I am not a pastor. I am not a pastor. I don't speak for a living. And so, to stand in front of all of you, and to give a message, is intimidating. You are all leaders and speakers. And I'm just an engineer. But I believe God has a message for us today. One of my favorite passages in scripture is the story of Gideon. But before we get into that story, I want to read to you from Revelation. Revelation chapter 2 Prakas Duyade Verse 17 He who has an ear Let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches Prakas Duyade Revelation 2.17 Verse 17 Verse 17 Verse 17 Verse 17 पवित्र आत्माले मन्दिर लाई के भन्नु हुन्छ जसले जित्छ त्यसलाई म गुप्त मनको के भन्न हिँड्छु आई विल गिभ सम अफ द लेन नाउ लेखेको र सेतो पत्थर दिनेछु आई विल गिभ हिम अ व्हाइट स्टोन म त्यसलाई सेतो पत्थर दिनेछु विथ अ न्यू नेम रिटन अन दैट स्टोन जुन नयाँ नाम लेखेको छ दैट नो वन नोज एक्सेप्ट द वन हु रिसीव्स इट I love this verse because it says God has a name for us. It's not the name our parents gave us. It's not the name we are known by today. God sees us as He wants to see us. He sees more in us than we see in ourselves. God believes in us. And one of the greatest stories to tell us about that is the story of Gideon. So if you'll turn with me to Judges chapter 6. Chapter 6 This is the story of Gideon And I'm going to pretty much summarize it Because it's a very long story So as you remember Israel was constantly rebelling against God. And again, they had rebelled against God. And God sent an army against them. The Midianites and the Amalekites came against them to destroy them. They would steal all of their crops. They were basically destroying the people of Israel. And the Israelites were hiding in caves. And then one day the Midianites sent an army against the Israelites. And if you look at verse 11 with me. Chapter 6, verse 11. Now the angel of the Lord came and sat under the terebinth at Ophrah, which belonged to Joash the Abizrite. While his son Gideon was beating out wheat in the wine press to hide it from the Midianites. 
That's worse. Uh, just, uh, no, that's no. just me, there's another. Oh. Mm -hmm. I'm just trying to get the backwards. Okay. Permission to serve the duty, to repeat, and the matter of the Yes, I think I'm sure I'll just. <coughs> just one moment, please. <laughs> Actually, it's not important. Where is it? How many times have you done it? How many times have you done it? How many times have you ask for Oprah Bandit Hong Kong, for Ruth Munibase. You ask for Chora Gidon Chai, Gidani Hubata, Lukana, like Dako Kulma. Long to the Tiga. Of a Purum Prabuka, Dud Ayra, Abiye, Jerry, Yosafko, Oprah Nit Hong Kong, Falat, Ruth Munibase, Yosafka, Chora Gidon Chai, Midani, Hodubata Lukai, Lukain. Lukana like that kokun ma gohu tarditia. And in verse 12 it says, And the angel of the Lord appeared to him and said to him, The Lord is with you, O mighty man of valor. Prabhupada is the Lord. So, the Param Prabhuka dud le gidun kaha deka pore, pore ratin lai bhane, to bir mani hos, bir manis hos. And in verse 13, oh, go ahead, I'm sorry. Rab Param Prabhuka sa nun In verse 13, and Gideon said to him, Please, my Lord, if the Lord is with us, then why has all this happened to us? And where are all his wonderful deeds that our fathers recounted to us, saying, Did not the Lord bring us up from Egypt? But now the Lord has forsaken us and given us into the hand of Midian. <laughs> and in verse 14, and the Lord turned to him and said, Go in this might of yours and save Israel from the hand of Midian. Do not I send you. And so as I said, this story is very long, and so I'm going to summarize this story. The angel of the Lord appears to Gideon. Um, and where does he find Gideon? The Bible teaches us that he finds Gideon hiding in a wine press. The Bible is supposed to have a sick eye, Gideon, she look at a bossy go of a stomach. He's afraid. Why do you die? Go of some song. And what does the angel say to Gideon? The sword of the Gideon, like keep on it. The angel says, You are a mighty man of valor. Does he look like a mighty man of that? Hiding in a wine press? No. He looks like a coward. He's afraid. And but the angel sees him differently than he sees himself. So And the angel says, "In the power that you have, you are going to go save Israel." What power does Gideon have? He's afraid. He's not a mighty man of valor. But God says, yes, he is a mighty man of valor. God says the same thing to us. Sometimes we're afraid. I can't preach the gospel. I'm not powerful enough. Nobody is interested in what I have to say. But God says no. He knows 
who we really are. He knows who He created us to be. And if He sent an angel of the Lord to speak to you, the angel of the Lord would say, you are mighty. You are able to tear down strongholds. You are able to change Nepal. Hallelujah. 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 So God comes to Gideon, Gideon and the angel says these things. And what does Gideon do? He begins to make excuses. He says, I'm from a small country. And I'm from a half tribe. My family is not even a whole tribe. And my family within that tribe is so non, non important. And I'm not important. And I don't even believe that you're the angel of the Lord. I don't even believe that you are the angel of the Lord. Does he seem like a mighty man of valor? Does he seem like a mighty man of valor? No. He's a coward. He's a coward. He's a coward. He's afraid. He doesn't believe even an angel. Every time an angel appears in the Bible, almost always the first thing they say is do not be afraid. Why? Because angels are so amazing. Gideon is so lost in his depression that he doesn't even recognize that this is an angel. So he basically says, prove that you're the angel of God. So he creates this food for the angel. And bam, the fire of God comes down and burns it up. And then Gideon knows that it's the angel of God. And Gideon knows that it's the angel of God. And you would think he'd go, wow, the angel of God just called me a mighty man of valor. Instead, he says, I've seen the angel of God and I'm going to die. He's even more afraid. He says, and the angel of the Lord says, no, Gideon, you're not going to die. God wants to use you to save And so Gideon begins his quest. And he does a sacrifice to God and he tears down the um, idols that are around him. The idols. Ashtura and Baal. He tears them down, breaks them down. He sacrifices to the living God. And then he's afraid that his neighbors are going to kill him. But God protects him. And he begins to believe maybe the angel of the Lord has a message for me. He's seen the angel of God. And so he begins to believe that God has a message for He's seen the fire of God. He's seen God's protection. But instead of believing, he still has doubts. So he says, just this one thing, just this one thing. If I put a fleece from this sheep out on the ground, I wish that the fleece, when I wake up, that the fleece would be soaking wet and all the ground around it would be dry. So he's talking about the dew that falls from the from the heavens. When the dew falls, it wets everything. And Gideon is asking for a miracle. Oh, the fleece can be wet. All the grass, all the trees, all of the ground must be dry. 
सब कुछ सुखा भैया जब बिहान उठ्स परमेश्वर विश्वास तो बीच को भाग मत सुखा सब बाकी भिजो को देखना चाहिए फिर आशा सोधि परमेश्वर से हमें सहायता करने व्यक्ति परमेश्वर हम विश्वास कर जबकि हम विश्वास बलिए होते परमेश्वर को बल से हम उत्साह हमें चाहिए परमेश्वर को वचन प्रचार कर भोलिपट फिर उठ्स को भाग सुको पचाड़ी को अरु भाग भिजे फिर अर्क आशीष कर्म हाल परमेश्वर ने बत्तीस हजार सेना लिया But the Lord says that's too many. That permission says you are too many. Now the Midianites had an army of a hundred and fifty thousand. The Midianites were like a hundred and fifty thousand. Thirty-two thousand. God says it's too many against a hundred and fifty thousand. Thirty-two thousand. See, you are not too many. If you happen to defeat them, 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 यदि कोई यो सेना में अलग डराए को सोनी मुआल घर पटाऊं। So Gideon asks them, Are you afraid? तो Gideon ने उन अलग प्रश्न करने थाले। तीन मुझे कोई डराए का सोनी। Twenty thousand are afraid. तो बाईस हजार अब बेकती हो, बाईस हजार अब बेकती हो डराए का सोनी। Go home. तो उन अलग Gideon ने जितने अलग घर पटाएं। Only ten thousand are left. तो दस हजार मध्य बाकी बाए। And God says that's still too many. तो परमेश्वर ने आज धीरे हो बनी है। So he tells them to go down by the brook and to drink the water. पानी परमेश्वर ने ती व्यक्ति तीन सौ जान मध्य बाकी तीन सौ जान एक लाख पचास हजार जान व्यक्ति को बीच परमेश्वर विश्वास प्रश्न आशीर्वाद सो परमेश्वर ने एकदम दुश्मन सुने तीन सौ जान अरु व्यक्ति बीच में सही जान जी यहाँ You guys are taking on Nepal. Na hamili si Nepal lai agadi bade ka sao. Do you God wants to take the gospel to Nepal? Parmeshwar lechhe tapale aze there thawa gar prachar gare ko chahan huncha. The odds are similar. Tyo pani tis 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 the ho. There are not very many Christians in Nepal. Nepal ma there bishwasi ro chaina. But God is moving. Parmeshwar chalne huncha jaade huncha. And the same is true with Gideon. Na Gideon ma pani este bhayeko thiyo. He told those three hundred men to surround the camp of Gideon. So bolle. तीन चार लाइक त्यो त्यो कैंप में गए तो त्यो ठाउ में गए रो बस बन रहे हैं। With a torch, the torch, रो बत्ती ले रो। And a clay pot. 
And a trumpet. And he said, sound the trumpet from all around the camp. And they broke the clay jar. And the light of the torch shone. And the Midianites went into a panic. And they destroyed one another. Your enemies are great. But the light that God has given you is greater. Jesus said, don't take the light and put it under a bushel. Don't let your light go under a clay pot. Let your light shine before men. And Jesus will do the work. Gideon defeated the armies of Midian. Gideon is a And today you are going to win the country of Nepal for Jesus. Because you have the light of the world. Because God believes in you. Because God is at work in your life. Just like He was in when you have doubts, ask Him to give you strength and courage. And He will fill you with His Spirit. And your light will shine into the darkness. And as John says, the darkness will not overcome. So from the message of Gideon, we can learn that God believes in us. That he has a special name for each one of us. Gideon was a But God saw him as a mighty man of valor. He would say, I am just a poor pastor. Maybe you would say, I'm from a poor family. Who am I to take on the armies against me? But God says, you are mighty. You have the light of the world inside of you. He wants to use you. Change Nepal. And that's my message for you today. God believes in you. And he wants to use you. As a mighty person of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right, stand up. Yeah. Yeah. First, let me pray for you. And then I want all of you to pray together. Lord Jesus, I just thank you for these men and women of God. I thank you that you have filled them with the Holy Spirit. And the world is inside of them. And I pray that they will be filled with the Holy Spirit. They will share your love with everyone. They will be brave and bold. They will be brave and bold. They will not be afraid. And then you will overcome the evil one. And then you will overcome the evil one. Satan mati tapi mati hari jalan pun nisa. And the darkness that exists in Nepal. Tapi ada Nepal mereka anda yang akan sakti mati tapi biji perak tu berusaha. Bring your light to this nation. Tapi you dia sekolah itu jalan berubah tapi after praying berusaha. In Jesus name. Yesus Kristus nama. So now all of us pray together and just ask the Lord to fill you with His Spirit. Tapi kalau kita berdoa bersama, kita akan mendapatkan kekuatan untuk berdoa bersama. So now all of us pray together and just ask the Lord to fill you with His Spirit and to give you the words to speak as you give His word to others. Tapi semua orang yang berdoa dengan orang yang bermisal itu. आत्मले हमले भरनुस बनिए हमें परमिशन लाए पुकारा बोलने से।